All right, people, welcome back. So this is part three. This is part three, part three, part three, part three. So uh, getting a couple of comments. Uh, don't argue with it. You know, uh, I see a couple of people arguing in the comment section below, and you know, uh, hey, everybody's called their you know their opinion, and uh, I try to be as unbiased as possible. You know, I'm not sitting here and being like, man, man, fuck necros. So I'm gonna hit this and this and this and this and this. No, no. And while there may be a lot of cards that I'm saying to go to one, and when I look at my own balance breaks, I'm like, God, there's a lot of cards that I have on here at one. Uh, it's all practical, really. It's either at one for a reason to lower the consistency, at one because of set precedence. <laughs> you know, there, there's no thing that I'm just like, you know what, this card could probably be at two, but I'm gonna put it at one because fuck you. Like, no. You know, I am totally unbiased when it comes to this because it doesn't matter how biased, you know. That's why I get when people do like their balance predictions and stuff and they're biased. It's like, that's not a prediction, that's a wish list. <laughs> you know? Like, well, you know, um, you know, uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon is going to go up to three because I really like Chaos Emperor Dragon, so that's going to go up to three, you know? Oh, so, yeah, Konami, oh, come on, Konami, give me Chaos Emperor Dragon in three, because I, 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 I'm telling you guys, I watch a ton of people's balance predictions, and I hear that all the fucking time. It's like, how is that a prediction? How's that a prediction? You know, you logically think, you know, let, let's go hard down, sit, well, you gotta sit down, think about it, logically. Set precedents, cards that didn't get changed previously, that might want to change this time. Looking at the top decks, you, you know, there's, there's a lot of work when it comes to doing uh, balance predictions, and I've been doing them pretty much ever since my channel existed for about three years now, and, uh, just a handful of balance predictions I'm just shaking my head about. Oh, uh, some of them, I'm just like, okay, I can see it, you know, I can see it. So, uh, you know, you, you just gotta keep the bias out. You really, you gotta, you gotta hold it down and keep the bias down. You really gotta sit down and look at it, you know? There are some cards where it's just like, does this deserve to be hit? And it's just like, yeah, kinda, you know? Well, you know, does this deck deserve to be hit? Yes, what, what should be hit in the deck, you know? So, it's a lot to think about. So, we are back with part three. Um, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a part four. If there is, then that's fine, but... Uh, hopefully not more than part five because I, I had to figure out how I'm gonna do that in part five So let's go ahead and start on part uh, three. Sorry about that intro there But I just had to go ahead and talk about that because uh, you know, you can go ahead and hate me if you want Hey, I'm not Konami, you know So let's go ahead and get started. So starting it off. We have Cam Greaves Cam Greaves has, says a couple of things. So let's go ahead and get started. So Cam Greaves starts off with uh, Bandaging. Hey, hey Hey, my nigga. No, <laughs> but seriously, uh, there's only one card that deserves to be banned, and it's just that's it, you know? Like I said, Necros will be fine without the gen. Like, if, if literally the only thing that Necros get hit in is the gen ban this upcoming list, they're still the best deck. Like, that's how fucking good they are. So they don't need fucking gen. So, that, like I said, that card is not healthy for the game of Yu Gi Oh! Stopping Special Summons, which is way too unhealthy. And I get that you want to make, you know, rituals a little bit better in comparison to the other uh, kind of uh, mechanics, but, you know, locking down Special Summons like that is just a no no. In Yu Gi Oh! It is just a no no. You can't do that. You, you only get one normal summon. You can't just lock someone out of Special Summons like that. It's crazy. <sighs> Alright. Next, uh, Limit Both. St uh, uh, so I already talked about that. Like I said, set pre not only set precedence in the OCG, where the, all they did was limit uh, uh, chair. You don't need to hit uh, scepter. You don't, because then that would just literally kill Seraph. So if someone wants to go ahead and make a Seraph deck, they can still run, you know, triple the chair and then triple the other cards. It's just sovereignty is the one that causes the engine. So if you go ahead and hit sovereignty to one, tell me, are you really going to run triple, you know, scepter and one sovereignty? I don't think so. So yeah. Set precedence on those is enough. You don't need to hit both. Just one. Just just a chair. Alright. So, uh, next we have, uh, I'm assuming this is still, yeah, this is on. He has, uh, Necro's Bionic, Yakar Unicar, that one. See? 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 And, and you guys are like, you know, this, he also has lose a turn at one, mistake at one, and, uh, uh, mind crush at one look, look and you guys are pointing fingers at me and say look damn don't you look at all the cards that you put to one look at one. everybody is on the same pretty much the same damn page like this the one 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 like when you really sit down and you think about it there's a lot of cards that should be at one well let's go ahead like i said necros are bionic necro unicorn yes i already did one uh lose torn like i said that's a little bit too early and like i said it's a replacement for skill drain so i know it sucks 
But uh, yeah, the card will probably, be, especially since it just came out in Clash Rebellion, it will probably be staying around at 3 for a good cool minute. So I hope that you guys enjoy that. Alright, so uh, next mistake. I, I, already, I already gave my opinion about mistake, but Minecraft definitely. Like, definitely. I said, you just look, look, look and compare them. Look and compare them. And I understand. It's kind of like, well, you know, uh, you know, mistake is kind of like one of them floodgates. It's kind of like vanities. Like, you can play without searching. I mean, it kind of sucks that your deck relies on searching, and searching is a good mechanic to allow you to extend your place, but you don't need to go ahead and search. It's not as bad as, like, you know, vanities where you can't special summon. And when you look at mistake, and I, I actually replied to a comment, uh, it's kind of like two halves of the same coin, you know. Uh, the consistent decks, which are the better decks, they search a lot. So to combat that, the more slower decks that don't search as much run mistake to go ahead and combat and reach uh, the potential of these decks that search. You know, that's fine. You will never see, uh, you know, like Telenites or Necros running mistake because that's just not going to happen. You know, because then that would hurt them. It's not splashable in every deck. It's not like, hey, you know, I special summon, you special summon, but I'm going to lock you out of special summoning, so vanities. You know, everybody runs vanities. It's not like that. It's not like, hey, I search and you search, so, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to play Minecraft because that doesn't hurt me. It only hurts you when you search, but it doesn't hurt me. You know, it's not a double-edged sword, like, when it comes to mistake, and I get to go ahead and see your hand, nigga. And it's, it doesn't matter if it's a, you know, it's a monster spell, a trap, whatever I call it. Let me see that hand, and wow, they're all done. Yeah, yeah. So, no. You know, I mean, it's not like I can go, mind crush. Oh, that's what you're hand, mind crush. Mind crush, you know. If I open up with triple mistake, the only thing that I'm safe from is, you know, MST. But if I open up triple mind crush, and as soon as you search something, sh mind crush. Let me see. Okay, call that. Mind crush. Call that. Mind crush. I, I can literally tear apart your hand before you can even duel because of mind crush. Like, no, no. Like I said, mistake, that doesn't have any precedence right now. That doesn't have any precedence. If they want to go ahead and hit mis make mistake to under one, hey, I don't care. But mind crush, man, that has some set precedence because that card was at one for a look. Look at Bandless history. It's been there. It's been, it's, it's been at one, two, one, two, three, two. Like, it's been there. <laughs> And in my opinion, Minecraft is always one of those cards that will never be bad because searching will never be bad, you know? Uh, mistake, on the other hand, you know, that's kind of like, it like, depends, it depends. Literally, if all the top decks were bad, good because they were consistent and searchy, then no one would play Mistake unless you're anti-meta, which, of course, they don't care, right? It wouldn't be, like, one of the top meta decks that would also run Mistake, but... If all the top decks were searchy and you had triple mind crush, then oh yeah, it's gonna be good. like I said. As long as they make searcher cards, mind crush will always be good because consistency. As soon as you even think about touching that pot of duality, uh, mind crush, you know, if they can even get any context clues to what's in your hand, mind crush. Like no, 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 mind crush is just ridiculous. So there we go. All right, next. Uh, once again, if you guys love your dragon ring, dragon ring three. Hopefully, uh, like I said, I. I would not care if, I would not mind, I would not care if Dragon Ravine went up to three, but I have no precedence on it, so I can't say anything about it. You know, friend Stoop did a video about uh, Astro Pack 7, and he was just like, you know, Dragon Ravine is at oh, three in the LCG, and I even had to message him, and I was like, no, it isn't. I had to check, I had to check, I was like, wait, I've been saying things wrong this entire time, like, no, I, I checked, I checked like, you know, back in, I checked April, and I checked the, the you know, January, the October, and I was like, no, it's still at one. <laughs> so even with the Dragon Rose ban, it's still at one. So I'm not sure why they didn't move it when they banned the Dragon Rose, especially LCG, because they've had Dragon Ravine at one, and then as soon as they banned the Dragon Rose, I still sat at one. While I saw me on the hand, we're like, all right, Dragon Rose ban Ravine at one, just like any LCG. So you know, like I said, they're the more liberal kind of game. So hopefully they'll move it first, and then we'll copy suit. Hopefully. So uh, yeah, Dragon Ravine at three. Uh, if it goes to three, that's fine. If it stays at one, that sucks, but they might have a reason. Maybe they're just like, you know what, this soul spell is just too ridiculous. Maybe you shouldn't be able to send dragons, no matter if the dragon was in band or not. All right, so next we have, uh, he says, uh, maybe ban soul charge, uh, but probably not. Yeah, I agree, probably not. Uh, cause at this point, uh, soul charge isn't up there enough to even uh, warrant even looking at. Like, when it's played correctly and it sacks the shit out of you, Fuck you with Soul Charge when it comes to Soul Charge. But it's not like anybody standing up at the top tournaments. I don't even think any deck is even running Soul Charge in the top deck. So, yeah, I don't even think Teller Knights are. So, uh, 
Nah, Soul Charge is probably going to stay at 1, which is fine. Alright, next he said, uh, maybe you limit uh, Star Knight Counter Trap because they have to hit Centellers in, um, in some way. Like I said, I already talked about that. Uh, the Counter Trap card's not the problem. If they, if literally in Teller Knights, the only thing that they hit the counter is the Counter Trap card, you still be getting beat by Teller Knights, because, like I said, I've played Teller Knights, I've won a handful of duels. I've completely crushed opponents just because, I, you know, because I never got the, and I never got the Counter Trap card. It's not that, you know, it's nice to have that Counter Trap card in your archetype, but I still got a tribute to Monster, you know, whether that be one of my Xenia monsters or one of my Teller Knight monsters that I want to use for a Seizure and see, you know, and all I get to do is just draw, you know, I have a guaranteed monster that I'm tributing for a random draw. I mean, um, some, I say there's a lot of stronger, you know, archetypal, uh, counter trap cards, you know? If all I have to do is have all Teller Knights on my field, and shit, if that was secret move, you know, like I said, when it comes to archetypes being good, it, it's not the counter trap that's the first thing that you go after, because some, you have to look at the archetype and be wonder, like, well, is that really what boosts them, you know? Is it really the counter trap and your Sunjus that makes them good? Like, no, it's not. It's helpful when they have it, but is that what makes them good? No. You know, and unless you can straight up search your counter trap, you know, I really can't say anything. It's just the luck of the draw. So, like I said, hitting the counter trap won't hurt Teller Knights at all. You know, like I said, you got a lot of consistency. I already talked about it, but I definitely think one triv, and one triv, you know, if you want to go ahead and use cards to recycle it back and stuff like that, but one triv, because triv is just so damn powerful. And then lower the consistency with the neb. I put the neb on the list, put it down to two. Uh, you know, hurt the consistency, uh, and uh, if it has that precedence, we can go ahead and hit it down to one next list, you know? Because, like I said, I think with Don uh, with Deneb to two, triv to one, and Rota at one for the OCG, they may not even be strong enough to do something at Worlds. You know, I think that'd be a fine first hit. Remember, this is a first hit. First hit for Telemites. So, there you go. So, uh, there you go. Kim Greaves, there is yours. And, wow, I'm already at 12 minutes and I just got to yours. Yeah, there's probably going to be part four. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. I am terrible. And, then we, and the funny thing is, we actually have two lists. Like, people actually put their lists. So, holy crap, we might have to come back for freaking, uh, yeah, we're going to have to come back for part four. And we're going to go through them two lists and uh so far as uh part three i haven't got any new comments you know stating anything new so uh uh if there are i will get back to them in like a later video or something like that but i got i got three more and two of them are like lists so uh, i'll go ahead and do this last comment in this video and then and part four we'll go ahead and go through those uh two lists so uh next we have uh, soul banana Alright, I know I already did Soul Banana, but Soul Banana was just uh, replying to a comment that uh, uh, Oblivion Duel's X made, but this is uh, Soul Banana's own, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, Teller Knights are probably going to get their hit via Alpha, like I already talked about that. If they hit Alpha, Teller Knights are still going to be really good, because, as like I said, really sit down and think about it. When you lose against Teller Knights, is it Alpha? Nah, it's probably, you know, the Altair, the Neb, the Vega, the Triver, you know, the Call of the Hunters, the Oasises, and the Trivers putting back the Call of the Hunters, the Oasises, and the Fiendish Chains, you know, uh, it's them just gaining resources and recycling their plays, so how, where does Alpha come to that, you know? It's not like Alpha is like, a, you know, a continuous trap card that they keep playing on you and then putting back with Trevor, you know? Uh, like I said, really, when you think about it, it's not Alpha. It's not Alpha. Alright, next is a... They will likely hit to the gym lock, hopefully, and there's only one way you can hit to the gym lock. You can't even put, that's the thing, you can't even put the gym at one. It's not like Vanities where you can just lower the consistency of getting it by lowering it down to one, no. Because you only need one. You only need one. <laughs> so, uh, you gotta ban it. Sorry, you, you can't, you know, especially when they're sending it from the deck to the graveyard like that. If it was something that you have to draw, then yeah, you could probably put it down to one just to lower the consistency just like Vanny's. But all you have to do is just make a bottle of chain, put it, dump in the graveyard, and then for some odd reason, they're just like, oh yeah, and then go ahead and add the text that you can like banish it for uh, the tribute of the ritual monster. Yeah, that's fucking genius. Like, no, no, you know, uh, there are plenty of other pretty good, uh, Jijin monsters to help your rituals, but you know, knocking your opponent out of special summons is just a little bit too much. Shut up, phone. <laughs> I apologize, people. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that, that was a message. Yeah, yes, okay, yes. My my phone's little tone is my intro, okay? Shut up. Don't charge me. At least I know it's my phone going off. Alright, so <laughs> continuing on, uh, he put, uh, lose a turn and mind crush are fine. They'll wait a while. Like, Minecraft is fine? 
Minecraft has been tearing it up. But, uh, like, slow banana. Come here, sit on Santa's lap. Come here, sit on. Did you forget the beginning of the format? Minecraft is the most powerful trap card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. What are you talking about? You know, this turn, that's too new. That's obvious. But Minecraft? How is that fine? That card is stupid. Like, it, it literally gets in your hand. We have cards banned because you look in your opponent's hand. Did you forget about Trap Dust Shoe? Man, shit. With the high consistency levels that's being searched right now, Minecraft is better than Trap Dust Shoe. Because Trap Dust Shoe, you got to play it when your opponent has, I believe, four cards in your hand and you get to take a only a monster and shuffle it back into your opponent's deck so yeah and that's been mind crush i call monster spell or trap get all up in your hand get rid of multiple copies if you have them like no 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 no, no. mind crush is not fine mind crush is just as bad as trick and trap dust shoot almost worse when you really look at how consistent fucking decks are like no mind crush is the most powerful trap card at the beginning of the format and it still is up there like i don't even know what you're talking about so yeah mind crush is not fine mind crush is dumb <laughs> You know, if it doesn't get hit, then I will shake my head. I'll be like, Konami, you're breaking this game apart. That, that, that's one of them broken cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, so, and then the last thing that you said is uh, Shadows are bound to get hit. Uh, they're getting no more support. Yeah, that's it. That's it. They, they, they Shadows are done. You know, I guess they might get some more indirect support through uh, Zephyr or something, but not any, like, direct. Like, here is a no Shadow monster. So, uh, like I said, uh, Shadows are gonna get hit, and you're thinking, I'm thinking, oh, Shadow Fusion or Shadow Fusion. Well, I wish it was Shadow Fusion. I really wish it was, but it'll probably be El Shadow Fusion. And uh, some news that I actually got before I miss, like I said, I think there's gonna be uh, two Shadow monsters, or two, two Shadow cards, and like I said, I think it's gonna be uh, Construct to One and, uh, and uh, El Shadow to One as well. I think, I think those are. Uh, uh, possibly correct ones. So, uh, got some news from Tyler Green, who, of course, follows the OCG, so thank you, because, uh, I don't even want to take the time to follow OCG, I don't even really like following, uh, uh, TCG. So let's go ahead and talk about them, and maybe possibly see some hits over an OCG that we may copy off of. Like I said, I'm going to do a part one and part two, so, uh, maybe some possible things that we could see on part two. So, Tyler said, I follow the OCG, and Necros are, uh, still strong, and just more creative. So even with, um, I believe they have uh, Veronica to one, Unicorn to one, uh, Cycle to one, and Manju to two. Oh, and Prep to one. I think that of all, I still out of all the things. Apparently, Necros are still really good. So uh, it might be, especially with how, how hard hitting. Because generally, when they come to Daxa, they don't want to do well anymore. You know, Aisha Doll, they'll hit it. They will hit it hard. So. Uh, I can easily see them going ahead and, um, you know, hitting it, uh, probably keep, uh, they'll probably just hit Manju and Sanju, you know, more consistency cards, which is interesting, because even, they, they even have Rota at, like, one, which even lowers the consistency of, like, Shuri, and they're still doing really well, so, um, you know, I'm wondering what they're going to go ahead and hit Necros, because for right now, when it comes to Necros hit for the TCG, I just have them copying off of OCG, but apparently, even copying off of OCG, they're still going to be strong, so, uh, maybe that won't be enough, you know, and if we copy off the OCG, then it's possible that they'll probably win Worlds, so, uh, I don't know, I don't know, maybe they're going to get hit even harder than the OCG. Uh, next, he says, uh, Shadals are not really dead because of a combination with trains, so, of course, um, you know, with Construct being hit, they can't, they can't crutch on construct you know generally when you duel against a shadow player you put you whip out a powerful xc monster what they're going to do they're going to go ahead and shadow fusion or try to l shadow fusion to construct who of course is kind of like a catastrophe for your special zombie monsters they, they clutch on con uh, construct but of course in the ocg construct is banned so what do they do uh, apparently they splash it with trains i think i i dueled it in an episode of daily duels and uh I can't remember what deck it was or what episode it was, but I know I do it against the deck. And uh, like I said, the powerful combination of Shadows with Trains going to them Shikinagas. Like I said, Shikinaga is not a bad card. You get a lot of access to them Earth Monsters. You can go ahead and send them Ruffians to go ahead and get your search. Um, so uh, I can see Shadows uh, revitalizing through the combination of Trains. Just, 
I don't doubt they're gonna go ahead and try to go after Shadows because it seems like Shadows have just kind of turned into like a, an engine. You know, that's not the core of the deck. So I kind of feel like if they're gonna go ahead and hit this kind of Shadow train deck in the LCG, they're gonna go back to the trains. You know, they're, they're gonna lower the consistency of the trains because I can definitely see you know a nice Shiki Naga come uh, paired up with powerful Dora. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that being a threat. So uh, there we go. All right, next, uh, of course, Neptibus is, he says Neptibus is doing okay. Like I said, uh, with uh, Neptibus, that's an OCG card, so we don't have to worry about that. It's OCG exclusive, so that's not coming here. And then uh, uh, Teller Green states, everyone is maining that Tellerite card to summon Nova, then Infinity. So, uh, and Noden, so uh, Ptolemyos, definitely a powerful card, because Ptolemyos, uh, if you have three extreme materials, detach three to rank up. Uh, you put a uh, monster with one rank higher than that, that's not a number, of course, Nova, than Infinity, so you have a 2,500 Infinity with two materials, so pretty much, if, hey, if you can make a Shockmaster, you can make an Infinity, so, um, really, Patola Miles is one of the cards that's the problem about Infinity, but really, it's just Infinity itself, like I said, if you ban Infinity, you know, the most that you're gonna do with, like, Patola Miles is maybe drop, drop, like, a Pleiades on it, like, ooh, you know, but, uh, you know, it's, it's Infinity's fault, so, I said, and also, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I see Infinity Ban, because even if you hit Patola Miles, you know, and really, you, and once again, when it comes back to extra deck shit, you really, you only need one to Patola Miles. If they hit Patola Miles down to one, you only really need one to go into that Infinity. And once you get that Infinity, depending on what you have, I mean, shit, you know, you really only need one Infinity, just like you really only need one Patola Miles. So if you hit, uh, you know, Patola Miles down to one, Infinity still at three, then people just make like a rank five deck that makes Infinity just like the one uh, played on Daily Duels, which would still be a powerful deck, so, you know. And of course, Noden, you know, that seems like everybody else would be splashing that Noden with that one Insta Fusion, you know. And, you know, Noden's so powerful because it's unlike any of the other uh, rank four monsters, the one card rank four monsters, like, you know, for example, um, Wolf Bark and Altair are just so much more powerful than them because it doesn't cost you your normal summon. I, I already talked about this, I already discussed it, but that that's powerful, which it makes it much easier to go ahead and access Patola Miles because instead of going like, oh, I'm gonna make Patola Miles with three Nixir materials and I don't have noting, well, I gotta go like, uh, uh, you know, Vega, Altair, Deneb, XC, Patola Miles, Decharge 3, you know. Uh, you know, you gotta use Clown Blade, you know, this, this, but Noden, Noden on the other hand, you go activate Insta Fusion, Noden, Noden summons some other level 4. Bam, and I already got 2 out of 3, and I didn't even normal summon, so I can literally just go normal summon 1 level 4, random level 4 monster, you know, and apparently he's saying that heroes are popping as well too, so summon my Shadow Mist, XC, and 2 Patola Mayos. Detach three, get my cert, you know, slap Nova, get my search, slap on infinity. You know, he said heroes are doing especially good with Clown Blade, the combat engine with uh uh that uh that perform mages, that perform mage clown guy, though you pay the thousand, summon them and attack well, with zero attack and fear defense, but he's level four of course. And uh, uh the hero blade the thousand blades, well so when you take damage you spell something like from the graveyard who is another level four, so you can uh, obviously see how that connects. And uh Yeah. And then he said, I didn't see a lot of tellers last time I checked, but the most played deck is Necro still. So you know, despite them getting hit much harder in the OCG than they did here in the TCG, Necros are still the best deck. So, yeah, we could, I'm probably going to have to do a part two. Uh, so, uh, uh, what else? Did he say anything about that? He said, uh, so what about Shadals? How they should, how they should be hit? I, I don't you know. He said, I know you said copy the OCG, but do we need Construct Ban maybe to uh, one along with Window? Window's not the problem card. Wonder's not the problem card. Uh, and clearly OCG saw that, let's say I put Wonder back up to three. Wonder's not the problem card, it's Construct. You know, so Construct is just that answer. Without Construct, then, you know, they'll have a hard time. Like I said, if they ban Construct, uh, and they really can't connect the trains, I, I really, I don't even know. I don't even know who they can really connect to. I mean, you know, without Construct, I doubt they're gonna splash the Star Seraph engine in. Uh, they're just gonna have a they're just gonna have a bad time. Like, I really can't see it. Like, I really can't see them really standing up on their own, you know? Depending on what you summon, you summon, like, a 3,000 fucking beater monster? They're, they're kind of screwed, you know? Like, who, who's gonna save them? Window? No. You know, Gristall? No. 
You know, Shikinaga? No. You know, who's going to save them? It's Construct, so... <coughs> I don't think they're going to go to the extreme of banning Construct, but one, I think one, will be fine. And then, uh, he said, he was confirming, he was like, he's like, uh, yeah, Necros, Mass Heroes, and Neptibus are the top decks in the OCG. So, we're possibly going to be seeing hits on those three decks, possibly, or something involving those three decks in the OCG, and then, you know, maybe we can copy and, uh, see w what, uh, will be on the TCG list for us at President's. I kind of lost my train of thought. I was kind of thinking about something else. So there we go, people. Here is part three. Like I said, we literally have like two lists left. Like lists. People's lists. So we're going to go ahead and do those next video. And if I have any more comments, I will go over them. And uh, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed part three. Like I said, we'll do part four on Friday. And uh, part one, my balance prediction, will be up on Monday. So look forward to it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, see you guys tomorrow.